Today I'm road testing a new camera from Panasonic, the long-awaited Lumix GH5. It is the camera of choice for many independent filmmakers and photographers alike. Firstly, let's take a look at the form factor. The GH5 is a digital mirrorless camera, so it's much smaller and lighter than my DSLR. Consequently, the lenses are also more compact. So if you want to travel light but have a number of lens options, it's possible with this system. It feels great in the hand and the buttons are well placed for quick and easy access. There's a high resolution viewfinder, but it also features an eight centimetre flip out touchscreen, which is really handy for shooting low and high angles. Much of the hype around this camera has to do with its video capabilities. Let's have a look at the specs. The GH5 is the first mirrorless camera to record 4K video in 10-bit 422. What that means is that it is capable of capturing a huge amount of image data. So not only is the video high resolution, but it allows more freedom when colour grading in post-production. The 5-axis image stabilisation allows for very smooth captures and for many situations will eliminate the need for a tripod. Here is a shot without stabilisation. Now notice the change when I turn it on. It really is quite impressive. Although I do shoot a lot of video these days, I'm really keen to see how the GH5 performs as a still camera. Let's check out those specs. The sensor is 20 megapixels, which provides a good amount of detail. Burst mode is very fast, allowing you to capture up to 12 frames per second in live view. The autofocus is quick as well, which helps when shooting any fast-moving action like sports or wildlife. The standout feature for me is the internal image stabilisation, especially when using a long lens like the 100-400. When paired with the internal stabilisation, I gain more stability, so I'm able to use slower shutter speeds in dark conditions. So if you're looking for a hybrid stills video camera, you can't go past the Lumix GH5. It's well worth checking out. And you know what? This entire segment was shot on the Lumix GH5. Happy shooting.